The Davidov Cancer Center was founded uh, about 10 years ago. It's the first comprehensive cancer center in Israel, which includes under uh, one uh, infrastructure, both an oncological institute, which uh, treats solid uh, malignancies, as well as an hematology inst institute that treats hematological malignancies. It uh, harbors most of the services that are required nowadays to treat uh, cancer. Uh, it includes uh, uh, all the specialized services to treat any individual disease. Uh, it includes a, a, a big radiotherapy uh, institute and uh, it uh, cooperates very closely with uh, multiple services in the Rabin Medical Center, in the General Hospital, including the uh, imaging, uh, nuclear medicine, uh, and surgical departments. One of the unique uh, things in the Davidov Cancer Center is the fact that uh, which we make uh, most efforts to provide all services that are required for cancer patients. It includes the oncologists that are specialized in treating this specific uh, disease, as well as, uh, as well as all the collaborating services, including uh, integrative medicine, palliative medicine, uh, social workers, uh, nutrition, nutrition specialist, uh, physical therapist, uh, and also some unique services that uh, are very rare abroad, like cardio-oncology, ophthalmo-oncology, dermato-oncology, neuro-oncology. These are uh, parallel services that treat uh, the very unique manifestations of the cancer uh, in the eye or in the heart or in the uh, nervous system uh, as well as the manifestations or the toxicities, the relevant toxicities of the treatment that we uh, provide for the patients. And these specialists like the cardio-oncologist and the neuro-oncologist, the oncologist they are a cardiologist, dermatologist, neurologist that specialize in these specific aspects of their specialty. The main reason for a tourist uh, to come from abroad to get treated at the Davidov Center that it uh, he comes to a world-class center. Uh, that provides most of the services, if not all of the services, that are required to treat his disease and his general condition, because we address also not only the disease, but also the patient and needs. So he can receive here all the services that are required to treat his disease with all the complex of uh, the relevant conditions, in the highest level possible. Most of our specialists have been trained in the leading centers in the world, like Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center in New York, like Dana Farber, the Mayo Clinic, and the Anderson, and uh, Ann Arbor, uh, Princess Margaret in Toronto, uh, and many other leading, globally leading centers in the world. And you can find the specials specialist here in one place. In addition, we have here uh, first class equipment. For, uh, for instance, uh, in the radiotherapy unit, uh, but also in other situations like in the imaging or in the surgical wards. The reputation of the center as a, as a global uh, level the first class level in the world is uh, well known and uh, as a result we already treat many uh, foreign patients that come not only from uh, the Mediterranean 
but also from other countries, mostly from Europe. Mm -hmm. I specifically uh, am a gastrointestinal oncology specialist, uh, and just as a good example for many of my colleagues, I was trained at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center by one of the leaders in this field, uh, and I came back uh, about 12 years ago to lead this uh, field uh, in the Vidal Center and in Israel. And uh, now this service, the gastrointestinal oncology service, is the largest in Israel and the most active. And we provide here uh, not only uh, the best standard of care, but we try uh, to be able to provide also uh, investigational uh, alternatives in most of the, uh, of the clinical situations that we treat. And this is just an example of many other services here at the Vidal Center.